Hey guys, it's Trisha Carr. I have new exciting things going on with my Mystic Arts Academy. You can now subscribe to receive all of the live monthly content for about a third of the investment of a single class. Included are at least one downloadable guided meditation per month, two live events ranging from classes, channeled messages, group readings, intuitive development guidance, Q&A sessions, and tons of community. You'll also have access to a private Facebook community for fellowship and support, and this space is kept super sacred and high vibrational. Your subscription gives you access to the whole library of classes and live events, which are on a vast array of topics. All events are offered online by Zoom video call, and many are also offered live in person at my studio here in Los Angeles. Subscribing to the Mystic Arts Academy is also a way for you to support the Charmed Life podcast and engage on a deeper level. I'm offering the subscription at a super low rate of $22 a month. Joining now locks in this rate for as long as you're subscribed. Click on the description of this episode or go to my website, trishacarcharm.com, and click on Mystic Arts Academy. I look forward to connecting. Hi, everyone. It's Trisha Carr. Welcome to this mini episode of Charmed Life and to day 24, phase 24 of 29 days of lunar phase. And yesterday we talked about positive energy being the only thing that matters, as in it is the only thing that actually creates matter. And today, the energy of the moon, which is still in that third quarter, that half moon perspective, today it is a good time. The lunar energies are offering the opportunity to release, yet we want to release in positive ways. Now, the way that we can find a way to release with that which is ready to release is by actually our energies that might feel resistant. Yesterday we talked about only only positive energies, right? That's what actually creates matter. And we don't mean it in a negative way. I mean, excuse me, we don't mean it in a way that is spiritually bypassing or irresponsible. Today we're going to talk about how to be responsible to find the way where the positive energy is asking to emerge and how to know when something is ready to be released. Now, release can be that we're releasing old intentions, and release can also be about re- uh, releasing the resistance so that the positive intentions can emerge. So how do we know when there is something that wants to be released? And real, truly, when something shows up as some resistance, tension, or negativity, one way that I have been shown to be able to seek this out is when we have a script, an inner script, or even an outer one, we say it sometimes where we're saying, I need. When we say, I need, what we are actually activating is a frequency of lack. And it doesn't mean that you don't get it or that what it is that you are needing is not for you or if it's, it's not aligned. What it really means is that there is some kind of belief or some kind of structure that wants to be released so that you can get to the true frequency of having it. Now, what we want to be in is the frequency of wanting it, you know what I mean? Like having that divine desire of it, but not really needing it. And that is when we know that we're in the frequency of actually aligning with it, where we have what we're doing is allowing the co-creative energies to connect with the real divine desire. When we're saying I need something, we're saying I don't have it, and then we're actually blocking divine frequencies from connecting with us to co-create our divine desires into a reality of whatever it is. So that's how you can seek it out. So I need money to pay my bills, or I need to leave this relationship or this job. So what we can do is there's a, a layer that wants to be released that will get us to the true having energy or the frequency of full activation of it. So if I need money to pay my bills, then I can look at what it is that is creating a, an experience of not having it, the need. And so, you know, the first thing that the brain and the body wants to do or the ego says, but I don't have it. Like there's just like literally not enough money in my bank account. That's not what we're looking at. We're looking at frequency. We don't need to be concerned with what has already been created. We're, we're concerning ourselves with the eternal creation process the now and the now is energetic the now is not 
mattered yet, hasn't been created yet, that's something that was yesterday's energy or even longer ago. What we're doing is being in the now and activating the frequency because isn't it possible for there to be zero dollars in the bank in this very moment and a hundred thousand in the very next moment? I mean, it's possible. It happens. Not that we need to conditionally demand that that happens in that way, but just as a way to help you to relax into the now, which is energetic. And so if I need money, then what I want to do is to feel into the experience of whether that is completely true. Do I need money? Like kind of get, kind of shake it up a little bit. Have a conversation with it. Is it true? Do I really need money? I mean, in truth, what I need is air, you know, and that's available to me. That is a kind of real divine physical need. You know, it's, it just is required. Let's, that's a better word maybe even is that it's required and it is available to you. And you believe in that availability because you're breathing right now. And that's what we want to kind of overlay on the other perceived needs is the availability the potential of it by being in the frequency of it so we can release the need energy and be in the experience of what it feels like to have it what it feels like to both want and in the positive sense not in the yearning or craving sense and also have it energetically so you are capable of having something energetically you are because everything that you have physically you first had energetically And so if you can be in the energy, you have to do this process on your own because little scenes may come up for you of either actual past history things that happened in your life, perhaps as a kid or whatever, and actual emotions around these energies and these emotions just want to leave. So perhaps if you are in this energy of needing money or something or needing to exit a relationship or a job, just for those are kind of those, those are kind of... um, more common. Then as you feel into the need energy of it, that which is resistant, the one that is believing you can't have it, you can't be in the energetic frequency of having it, of fully activated in it, you may you may discover that there is some kind of energy of shame connected to it. Well, if I don't have money, then I feel shame. Or if I don't have money, then I feel unsafe. Well, what what are what might be there that wants to be experienced just as a release? of that is related to this shame or this lack of safety and so perhaps what comes up as you ask that question is a scene of you with your mother and your mother or your father or something like that and your mother was having a moment of crisis about money or safety or whatever and you as a small child wished that you could save her and you you said well in order for me to be aligned with my mom this is just not literally said it but this is what the energy kind of configured around In order to be safe, I have to be aligned with my mom. And at this time, she is unsafe. And so I have to feel that lack of safety as well. In order for me to have any kind of safety, I have to align with lack of safety that my mother is experiencing right now. And then be with that feeling. It wants to leave. The reason it's still there and it's showing up, whether you have a scene that matches to it or if it's just the feeling of shame, guilt, fear, whatever it could be, be with it because we have this tendency to want to avoid those feelings but those feelings are there until or unless we give them our full attention and we stay in it it's it's uncomfortable at first but the more that you allow it you hold space for it then the discomfort alleviates each tiny little millisecond that you are with it it actually relieves it's it becomes relieved if you are fully committed with deep compassion and then that may be the thing that wants to be, it could be forgiveness or it could be self-compassion or compassion for another and that will allow it to release. And this is the energy we are in with the moon right now is kind of snooping out, sleuthing out what wants to be released within us because we want to make room for the new intentions to emerge. And even if it is an intention that is very much like the last intentional cycle at the new moon, it's going to be a different perspective in this now. It's going to be a a higher version of it. It's going to be a 2.0 or 10.0, whatever it would be for you. And we're going to manifest it afresh. 
So be in that energy of release. It could also take the form of doing some kind of purging in your physical space. So maybe it's time to clean out the closet or go ahead and finish that one project with, you know, sometimes we have like a a pack, a, st- a stack of picture frames and pictures that we want to put in, and, you know, little projects like that, just to do those, something like that very consciously to put something in place. That'll help you feel more basically feng shui too, to be aligned with allowance to be able to release and then allow and, and allow the true you, the true intentions to emerge. Well, that's what I have for you today in this phase 24 of the lunar cycle. I want to remind you guys, well, I just had today in my Mystic Arts Academy group, we do classes twice per month. And then I also do meditations and hypno journeys. And I'm doing the hypno journeys about weekly right now. I promise one downloadable, one meditation every month. And I am giving, at this time, I've I'm, I'm been able to basically weekly offer a hypno journey where we come together live and we do a journey together and then it's posted you know for you to watch the replay to either do again for yourself if you were actually able to a- attend live or just if you do watch the replay then it's it's just as activated as if you were there live because spirit knows no time and space boundaries so we just did one that was really great on the transitional process any transitional process but since as this is being published we're in a space of closing out one year and beginning a new one and that's kind of where we are with this lunar cycle too we did when we did a hypno journey to align with calm relaxation um, focus and blissed blessed and fully activated in your beautiful true eternal intentions of life and it was pretty pretty awesome um so i just wanted to let you guys know about some of the things that we're doing there and to check it out of course i do have a little ad at the beginning of this and in the description of however you're listening or watching there is a link for you to join the membership or just uh, for the membership you have to be in the membership in order to do these hypno journeys or you could just go to one class so that's uh that's what i have for you guys today so i hope to see you guys again sometime soon either in class Or I will check in with you tomorrow on the podcast and on the YouTube channel as we head into the 25th day of the 29 days of Lunar Phase. Thanks for tuning in. I love you, whoever you are. Hey everyone, it's Trisha Carr. I'm really excited because it is the time of the year for me to offer my Animal Communication Comprehensive Program live online. Whether you are interested in the profession or if you would like to connect more deeply with your own animal family members, having an understanding of this form of telepathy will enhance your life and all of your other intuitive gifts. About once per year, I offer this program live, and that time is now. It is starting in December of 2019, and this particular live program has some bonus time added in. So the way this program works is it is delivered live online, and we also have a private study group of a beautiful community of like-hearted animal and nature lovers. Go ahead and check it out. The link is in the description, and I hope to see you there. Thank you so much for your love of animals, for your love of our planet, and for shining your light on our beautiful world.